on the big screen. There he is. It's comedian Greg Warren. Hi, Ta Greg. Hey, guys. How you doing? Good, Greg. Good, Good to how see are you. you? I'm, I'm doing just great. Good. Uh, happy to talk to you. <laughs> we're, 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 we're happy. We're happy, too, Greg. All right. Um, I know that you're uh, going to be uh, in early November in Omaha at the Funny Bone. The caravan in Louisville coming up November 9th through the 11th. And then uh, in St. Louis, your hometown, November 16th through the 19th. All right. Those are all That's true. The, some of my favorite clubs right there, man. Mm -hmm. Good. Now, um, you're also uh, seen on the big screen. Uh, one can find you uh, with a, a, a classic piece called Where the Field Corn Grows and uh, The Salesman. They're both up there. Uh, search for them. You'll enjoy them very much. What's on your mind today? Well, Tom, uh, I want to talk about an important topic today, uh, uh, the history of credit cards. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Whoa. yeah, yeah. Uh, going way back to uh, early times, Mesopotamia, that's 5,000 years ago, uh, they used clay tablets as uh, a sort of makeshift credit card back then. Oh, really? Um, yeah. Hmm. Hard to fit uh, in your wallet, though. Oh, yeah. 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 Definitely. <laughs> That's why people put them on their phones and their wallet. <laughs> <laughs> that was a disadvantage, Christy. Could not fit in the wallet. However, if the uh, retailer did not take uh, your credit card, you could... Uh, Smash them over the head with it. <laughs> oh, sure. Uh, it was a different time. Uh, different times yeah. then, Josh. Don't leave Very different without. time, yeah. chick. No. Uh, <laughs> although I believe Cole still takes those clay tablets. <laughs> <laughs> Take just about anything. Uh, let's uh, come up to sort of the modern times of credit cards. 1949, old Frankie McNamara was uh, having dinner with his business partner, and he forgot his wallet. Oh, and no. And it was a very embarrassing situation. He was in New York City, and uh, he, he wanted to avoid that situation in the future, so he came up with Diners Club. Oh, that uh, was the first one, huh? That's that was the first yeah. one. Kind, well, yeah, even, sort of as we know it. It was even a movie, remember? Diners the man, Club? The man D from Danny Diners. Kay, the man from the Diners Club. Oh, yeah. oh really? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, it was at first. It was you could only use Diners Club at twenty eight New York restaurants and uh, two hotels, and you just basically get a a bill at the end of the month. Uh, within five years, there were three hundred thousand members of the club. Um, yeah, it it uh, kind kind of worked out well for him. Uh, I'm surprised uh, Josh Arnold and uh, Sean O'Brien, my two opening acts, didn't uh, invent Diners Club as often as they forget their wallet. <laughs> Oh, well, it's, uh, there were many, many times I, I just misplaced it. I, uh, what are you going to do? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Several years on the road, never paid for one meal. So, yeah, I, think we, I pay for them all right. Uh, you pay for it one way or the other. <laughs> yeah, we, we all know someone who uh, managed to, he, he, uh, he had a sixth sense about when the yeah, bill was coming was in. It somehow yes. really amazing. Somehow would always be in the bathroom for b b yep. mm -hmm. many, 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 many minutes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, Greg, I don't know if you have this in your uh, credit card reviewed, but did you know the San Diego, now Los Angeles Chargers, they were first owned by Baron Hilton, and he uh, was with the, uh, came up with the credit card company Carte Blanche with two E's. I knew Hilton was Carte Blanche. Yeah. I didn't know that. The, yeah, really? And, and the name Chargers because you charge on a credit card. A lot of people think No it's, way. Uh, really? Yes. No, yes, absolutely. But they have, they on their helmets, they have the electrical symbol. Uh, right, the lightning light, bolt. Lightning bolt, yeah. But they, by all rights, they should have. That's exactly right. A credit card. Is that right? They should. Have I, I did not know the charger thing. That's that's fascinating. Yeah. You know, the, the sixteen numbers and your a secret code in the helmet, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Hey, speaking of those sixteen numbers, guys, yeah. I'm going to yeah. jump to this okay. for a second. Uh, this is there's a thing called the Loon algorithm. Yeah, I don't know. Um, basically, <laughs> if you take your credit card, you start from the right, go go to the end. And uh, you double every second number. If you add those numbers together, if it's divisible by 10, that is a valid credit card. If it's not, it's a fake credit card. No kidding. 
What? Yeah, that's, that's crazy. Yeah. So that's a that's a way for them to figure oh. it out. Wow. Yeah, that's a way to figure it out. Another way is if Visa is spelled V Y Z A. <laughs> that's a fake credit card. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Also, if you're ordering stuff on the phone and you change your voice, <laughs> you're, you're I, using a, I'd like five <laughs> hatchets, please. That may be a fake. <laughs> that might be a fake card. That might be a phony. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh. 1958, uh, this is sort of the credit card as we know it. Bank of America. Bank of America. I don't know if you guys remember the old Bank of America card, sure. which became Visa. Heck yeah. yeah. Um, they got the, they did what they called the Fresno drop. They just sent 60,000 credit cards to people in Fresno, California. They were, they had a $500 limit. Yep. This, this was not an application. These were just credit cards they sent out to people. Uh, they did not screen these people at all, and it it didn't work out very well. Uh, <laughs> no, I bet not. Short term, there there was a twenty two percent delinquency, a lot of fraud among merchants and uh, uh, customers. Uh, they took a, a twenty million dollar loss in the first year of, of sending out credit cards. That was um, how they did it, though. That's how we got credit cards. Within the first like seven years, there were a hundred million of these uh, drops across the country. You just send in credit cards out. It's illegal now. You can't do that. I, when, um, I, court- when, when I went to college, they did that. They sent you a credit card? Yeah. Oh, wow. yeah, yeah they, I bet so, yeah. Yeah, uh, according to Life Magazine, these cards were mailed off to unemployable people, drunks, Uh-oh. narcotic <laughs> addicts, and compulsive debtors. You know, just come out and say who you're talking about. They sent him to stand-up comedians, and that's <laughs> fine. <laughs> yes. And dirty, filthy hippies. And students. <laughs> Things are a lot more strict these days. Yeah. They don't just send college students a credit card. You actually have to fill out a small piece of paper and get a free T-shirt in order to <laughs> yeah, get... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a, yeah, a lot of screening. <laughs> yeah. Every, uh, every day I go home, I've got like three or four in the mail. Uh, am I, six a month, uh, ch- chick is the is the average for yeah. Americans to get Whoa. six offers a month. Yeah, but you got a lot of money, so they're sending you quite a few more. Sure, yeah. I'm. Uh, don't they send you flush. more? The more that you don't pay them. Isn't oh yeah, they, they love. They, then you get more solicitations. Yeah, they don't want you to pay ones. them. Uh, no. You know, uh, this is a true industry term. They, the, if you if you pay off your credit card every month. They refer to you in the credit card industry as a deadbeat. Yep. Yeah. I am a proud deadbeat. So am I. What a, what a jerk. Yeah, yeah. How dare you pay for the stuff you <laughs> yeah. bought? Yeah. Yeah, the guys that they're making money off are called the revolvers, the oh. revolving credit. Oh, that's interesting. Um, the most expensive uh, card is the invitation-only American Express Centurion card, 7500 to uh, get the card, and then Whoa. a 2500 dollar annual fee Jeez. um the annual income of of people that have that is uh, 1.3 million and and they have uh, 16.3 million in assets uh i don't know what the perks on this thing are i was trying to find it. i couldn't i think it's because like on my card i have a delta uh, sky miles uh, american express card oh, i so, get uh, double so I, uh, yeah it's, yeah, it's a nice. great card you get double miles on right, the centurion you. card i think you get uh a state senate seat. I think. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good part. <laughs> if, uh, uh, Mr. Speaker, <laughs> I just got here through the American Express Centurion card. I've uh, I've held two or three of those. In Have my you life. really? Yeah. Really, it, it, working uh, in retail for a while. They every now and again. The you'd, uh, holy cow. are these the, are these the black ones? Uh, the Amex, uh, the Centurion. I think, it's above I think Centurion is even higher, higher, bigger than the Amex Black. Right, I think right, so yeah. too. Made of ra- it's invitation made only. Of, made of yeah. radium, but they're yeah. now, uh, they glow. Like, very heavy, uh, very. And Tom, I, I like uh, I like that you uh, you know try to act like the common man on uh, radio, but just right? tell us <laughs> tell us what those things are like. Tom. <laughs> I, no. I know when I know when you graduated high school, your father gave you one of these. <laughs> it's silly. I did read an article about them and it said. It was uh, utterly pointless to have one. Yes, it's a total. Uh, there's, there's no perks, and no. the fees are ridiculous. Yeah. It's just, yeah, it's, a just it's, a sta- it's a status. It apparently is the official name of the Black American Express card. Yeah, so I, yeah, I, yeah they're it, yeah. Wow. And they were and the, you, uh, the gentleman using it was buying a lot of yes. 
Oh no, say Josh, I'm sorry. No, no, they were they were clearly they were spending like fifteen hundred dollars at my little Rawlings booth. So they yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Christy, yes. up until I believe 1974, mm-hmm. uh, single women were not allowed to get credit cards. Yeah, really? I believe that. Oh no! Yes, you had to have a husband co-sign for you darn if you wanted right. a credit card. Yeah, darn right. <laughs> Which is, you know, they talk about all the sex in the 70s. That was mostly because women were impressed by credit cards. <laughs> <laughs> You can help me get a master card. I could have gone home with a girl with my Visa check card. Uh, The Visa, uh, you know, Bank of America card became Visa in 1976. And uh, you guys are familiar with the uh, sort of the the colors of the card. It's, It's blue and gold and white. The blue is supposed to represent a blue sky. Oh. Uh, because Bank of America card is a California company, the gold represents the uh, uh, color of the hills in California. Uh, I'm not sure that's the case. I think the blue represents the ocean of debt that you're going into. <laughs> <laughs> and the gold is the pile of riches that the company is making. <laughs> and I the white the, uh, represents the board of the company. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you remember there was a brief period of time where um, a couple of the major credit cards had your picture on them? Oh, no, no kidding. Yeah. I don't remember it that. Was very... That was my first gag, Tom. Uh, oh, what? really? I got, that was my first, that was my first bit. Really? I got one of those when I was uh, in college, I think, or right out of college. I, I, I got like a picture with those fake buck teeth and uh, like uh, uh, my... Uh, glasses with like tape around it, and I <laughs> and I would I, I, and they put it on my credit card. <laughs> yeah, it seemed like a pretty good idea, but it it did not I last. Never, I never had one of those. I think it lasted a couple years. Oh. When I meant it was a it was called the Bank America card. Oh. Uh, so yeah, who knows? I, they 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 don't do that anymore. So I don't know why. But um, now now you, they have a chip in them. Yeah, and now you can. I mean, oh, now yeah. you can wave them over the machine. And, yeah, it's magic. Or you can yeah. stick them on your phone until your phone craps out. <laughs> check local. Uh, you know that magnet, magnetic strip on the back, Tom? Yeah. Uh, that that was invented by a guy named Forrest Perry at IBM. You used to have to do that sort of imprint thing, um, yeah. but uh, he he was he invented it, but he couldn't figure out how to affix it to the credit card. They tried gluing it on, but the glue kept uh, screwing up the machine. Hmm. And he went home, and uh, he told his wife about it. She was iron- ironing shirts, and she said, "Why don't you try to iron it on?" And he did, and and that's how they do it. They they, they, they apply it with heat. Yeah, wow. that's a woman. And you know, you know what he said to her, uh, Christy? Iron it? What? He said, uh, "Good idea, woman. Now uh, finish the sleeves." Yeah, uh, yeah. L- yeah, lucky you're married to me. You can get one of these. Hey, uh, Greg. Greg, do you remember? And the, these guys kind of looked at me like I I was uh, crazy, but they do that all the time anyway. But no, remember when they had the uh, books at uh, yeah? They look the up your department number. store, and you give them a credit card, and they look up your number in the book. Yes, really. To, make, I, to see sure. if it was yeah. stolen. To make mm-hmm. sure it was valid or stolen or what, and that the that was in the days of the uh, Kerchunker. That mm-hmm. month, yeah, everybody, yeah. everybody. I do remember and then actually, that. Uh, in the days of the machine, we had to put him in. A friend of ours actually did a news story that changed the industry because uh, uh, they used to remember they used to have what's it called the, pa- the carbon paper. Mm-hmm. There yeah, was, there was a carbon paper thing, and they would the merchants would throw all those away. And then people would go into dumpsters, grab the carbon paper, and have all the information they needed. That's right. And that's why eventually they, remember, they got rid of the carbon paper, and it was an automatic thing on the uh, top. Really? Yeah. Uh, remember that? Uh, a guy did that whole thing. We last saw him in Utah at one of our shows. Ah. He uncovered that whole scam. So, uh, yeah, but the, I think they're great now. They're really good about if something goes wrong, but in my experience, helping you out when they mm-hmm. get stolen and stuff. Tom, did you know about the thing where, like, Basically, there's a there were usury laws. I think state usury laws, where you know this is how much you could interest you could charge state by state. And uh, back in sort of the late '70s, um, interest rates were really high. They were like 20 percent in some places. And Citibank was going. They, the maximum lending rate in New York was uh, 
12%. So they're just basically going under. And then there was this state, there was a Supreme Court uh, decision called Marquette, I think, versus somebody. And they said, if, if you had, if you were a national bank, a nationally chartered bank, you could uh, basically, and you were based out of, say, South Dakota, where there were no usury laws, you could uh, supersede the usury laws in all the other states. Yeah, so that, that was Marquette that, versus Loyola. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was a championship, NCAA basketball championship. <laughs> we we got to close it up. Your credit is over, Greg Warren. <laughs> uh, Greg is one of my favorite comedians. Please check out uh, The Salesman and, um, and Where the Field Corn Grows. Great stuff. Uh, clean as a whistle and hilarious. Thanks, Greg. It's always a pleasure. Always. Uh, see you guys later. See you, Greg. Right. Bye. Yeah.